Hey everybody, here today to do a tool review on the Maddox Radiator Coolant System Pressure Test. Uh, so a little bit of a how-to also. If you saw my last video, found a leak that was getting into the timing side cover from the back side and I couldn't find it. Guy came over with his pressure tester. Now his was a snap-on, but it's designed very similar. I'm going to let you know, I like it so far. Now this is home use. I I wish I would have bought one years ago. It would have saved me a lot of time and trouble. Just in today, I was able to test it out without starting the bike and making even more mess and going back and forth and trying to figure out where the leaks are. Here it is. Pump it up, and you're going to find it. And I ended up finding another leak that we didn't find last time. So, again, this is the Maddox Radiator Pressure Test. It's $125 from Harbor Freight here in the States. It seems to be of good quality, especially for a home-use garage. Comes with a case, multiple other attachments to fit different sizes. Like this would be the next size up radiator cap. And then uh, this looks like it would be for the screw on type. And it comes with two different sizes. So I'm happy with it, looks good. All right, for my old school GSXR guys with the first gen uh, water cooled bikes, I'm gonna move forward with a little how to do and still the tool review. I'm gonna go in my shop manual today go to 5-8 so the cooling system 5-8 in there it'll tell you about pressure testing what psi for here we're going to do 17 psi and it says hold for 10 seconds all right so i've already used two different attachments hooked it up to my radiator where my radiator cap was so you take the radiator cap off and this replaces it now what I did to make it easier, because we know we have that little frame support for the gas tank up front, is I disconnected the, the, the 10, millimeter, 10 millimeter bolts from the side, and then that gave me a little free play. All right, so here it's pretty nice, easy to read. Make sure everything's attached nice and tight. Start pumping. Tight. There we go. 17, 18 PSI. It needs to hold for 10 seconds. All right, huh. way easier than trouble leak. I was filming. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that laugh at the end there. My wife calling me on the intercom system. Uh, so you see what I'm dealing with, trying to get in the garage and having some time and getting focused. You got to make sure that if you get stopped in the middle you have ways to keep track of what you're doing. And that's why I'm always bagging and labeling and taking notes. This is all know where I ended at before I ended up coming back in the house and taking care of family business. But I uh, hope all goes well for you guys. Try that thing out. Works great. And uh, you see a little fire in the background. Just some coals are left. Uh, a little chilly around here. Not too bad. For a summer day, it got really strangely chill today. So... Hopefully you guys are staying warm where you are or staying cool where it's hot. I'll see you next time.